David Polycott demonstrates how careful planning can engage all his learners as he begins a series of lessons on great expectations with his Year 8 English class. Afterwards, AST Sophie Hallecker provides commentary and analysis. Putting themselves in the position of literary detectives and finding out about the various characters and how they all interconnect both to each other and to and the plot. <laughs> so we need to find a new character though. Yeah, you have to a worm, I think. Wormy. 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 After some initial scepticism they had when they had this sort of dusty old book in their hands, I really feel that they've grown much more excited by it. Where's he finding him? Did he find him? Well, he's been somewhere. I don't know where. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got really different film lessons because finding the characters before we start the book is really good. Like, where is it? Where is it? Trying to find it, rushing through the pages, and you've got like ten minutes to find it. It's like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> I will ask you now to go back into your little groups. And for you all to actually look at your last character. Estella is told to um, break Pip's heart because Pip's Pip falls in love with Estella. What can we think is going to develop between her and Pip? Will it be the untaunted love that was on the board? That um, he likes her but she won't like him back? This is the unrequited love. So I've had to, I've had to move these. The unrequited love that she weren't sure where it came from. I don't really read books much, but I want to read this book. Because it seems interesting. Why do you think it's Joe? Because in the description it says he's got a hair on his face and he don't look smartly dressed or anything. Wonderful, Hayley. We never really like finished books, but this one feels like we're going to finish it because it's quite good and everything and enjoying it. There's several things going on in this lesson that are related to planning. You've got, for a start, you've got the group work and he's thought about the structure of his groups, he's thought about who's working with who, and it's obviously working well because they're all completely on task. Um, he's also got the, what actually the task is and what they're looking for. Putting themselves in the position of literary detectives and, and he's, finding out. He's carefully thought about something that's not going to intimidate them, but it's something that they can do and something that they can actually feel really confident with and feel a sense of achievement from that. Finding the characters before we start the book is really good. Like, where is it? Where is it? Trying to find it, rushing through the pages and you've got like 10 minutes to find it. It's like, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. <laughs> he's obviously building things up, so it's not just a one-off episode of a lesson. It's something that's going on and the students, I think, see it as something ongoing and they see it as a, a almost like a project and I think that's something really important when you're planning as a secondary school teacher because it's very easy to just see your lessons as separate episodes. I will ask you now to go back into your little groups. And it's very evident that he's he's planning it as, as if he had them all the time, not as if they came to him for an hour or 50 minutes or however long your lesson might be. He's actually thought, how am I going to get these students so engaged in this that they come into the lesson wanting to learn and wanting to carry on with what they're doing. Estella is told to um, break Pip's heart because Pip's Pip falls in love with Estella. Some of the things that are brought out here with David is that you have to plan for everything that you want to happen. So not necessarily to write, it, write everything down on a lesson plan, but to have a really kind of organic sense of where you're taking something and to have thought in advance and to have explored something yourself so that you know where you're taking your students. What can we think is going to develop between her and Pip? Will it be the untaunted love that was on the board? That um, he likes her but she won't like him back? When we're thinking point. about our planning, sometimes we can get caught up in thinking about how do we show ourselves as an outstanding teacher, whereas actually what David's showing here is how you set up outstanding learning and actually how you get your students to be outstanding learners and it's it's about planning for activities that will get the students so engaged and so focused that they are independent and they're wanting to learn and they're supporting each other and they're assessing each other and working together and you've got this outstanding learning environment.